Hello, it's 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. So we have... Uh, <laughs> President Gelli welcomes his counterpart uh, of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud. For the international scene, uh, the fear of an increase in fuel prices in Kenya. Welcome to our newsroom. The Somali president uh, begins uh, a 48 hours uh, state visit to Djibouti. The president of the Federal Republic of uh, Somalia, Hassan, Mr. Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, began this Saturday afternoon a 48 hour state visit to Djibouti, where, under the auspices of the head of state, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, an important reception was uh, reserved for him upon his arrival at the international airport. Uh, of Djibouti, members of the government, parliament, including Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Mohammed Ali Muhammad, the Minister of Justice, uh, took part in the official welcome uh, reserved uh, for the Somali President at the Djibouti Airport. Uh, the Diplomatic Co Consular Corps accredited to Djibouti, including member of the Embassy of the Federal Republic of Somalia to the Republic of Djibouti, also took but uh, in this reception at the end, uh, the two presidents held in the VIP lounge of the Djibouti airport, a first meeting prelude to a series of meetings. Sony the Mugale Kugu Major Tene Madahui de Majara Hauka Boma Muka Hoganka Somali president uh, will uh, visit uh, will visit several uh, Djibouti development projects as a framework for identifying new fruitful uh, uh, economic partnership between the two countries, uh, the industrial uh, and uh, economic uh, partnership uh, between the two countries, uh, the industrial and uh, energy park of Tamerjog. Then the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, and his uh, Somali counterpart, uh, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, uh, reviewed the troops uh, of honor present at the airport, uh, a large delegation including members of the government, uh, as well as the diplomatic corps residing in Djibouti, and the Djibouti Army Corps. Several high officials have reserved a welcome with all the honors due to his rank uh, to the Somali President and his delegation. During this state visit, uh, the Djiboutian president will have uh, a face-to-face -face, uh, and an enlarged meeting with his Somali counterpart. He is scheduled tomorrow to address the topics of common interest and privilege of the two brotherly countries.
President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, and the Somali President uh, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, in uh, had a meeting uh, in the VIP room of the airport uh, during their exchanges. Uh, the head of state and his Somali counterpart took stock of the privileged the relations between Djibouti and Somalia, which share historical and exceptional links woven by the thread of history of the geographical proximity between the two nations. Uh, the ways and means uh, to increase uh, the level of exchanges and cooperation between the two countries uh, and the two brotherly peoples were on the menu of the first talks between the two leaders. The discussions also focused on identifying support but also to the common challenges of the two brotherly countries and the means to scoop. Uh, it should be noted that Djibouti has always been an unwavering uh, allies and strategic partners in defending the Somali cause in regional and international forum, notably through uh, the organizations of the memorable Arta Peace Conference, but also the participation of a contingent within the force of the African Union Transitional Mission in Somalia in the stabilization of his uh, brotherly country. The, so the Somali president, um, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, uh, was uh, elected for the second time as uh, the head of the Federal Republic of Somalia on May 15, 2022. He won the last presidential election against the outgoing President Mohamed Abdullahi for Majo, the inauguration ceremony after his election, which took place uh, in Mogadishu, was attended uh, by a strong delegation, by a strong Djiboutian delegation led by the President Ismail Omar Gele and several delegations from IGAD countries and countries friendly to Somalia. The inauguration ceremony was uh, preceded uh, by the transfer of powers between the outgoing President Mohamed Abdullahi for Majo and the elected president, uh, Mr. Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, uh, the handing over took place in a calm and sincere manner. It's a rare event in the African continent which demonstrated uh, uh, the political maturity of the Somali people and the democratic advance of uh, this country. The Somali president, Mr. Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, uh, who came to Djibouti this afternoon for an official visit of 48 hours, was elected uh, for the first time uh, at, as the head of Somali, Somalia for the first time since September 2012. Uh, first uh, in time since September two, 2012, he is uh, a leading figure in Somali politics and won the presidential election against President Sheikh Sharif. Uh, these elections led uh, to the transfer of power between the two presidents, always in peace and serenity, the president of the Republic, Ismail Omar Gele, did not fail to participate in the inauguration ceremony at the head of the Djiboutian delegation. The president, Ismail Omar Gele, is a great friend of Somalia and has contributed uh, to its rebirth. Many foreign delegations were present at the inauguration ceremony. We must uh, recognize that in 2012, President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud faced with courage a still troubled period where Somalia had not found its current stability. In spite of these difficulties, the Somali president will start many reforms to establish a functional administration and justice, and his strong point will be the reopening of school institutions and the return to school of uh, Somalia. After his election in 1999, President Smail Margele undertook a bold mission to bring Somalia back in the fold of nations while the whole world turned away from Somalia in the most total chaos with a civil war without end uh, in a massive exodus of population. President Smail Margele had a big peace conference uh, in Alta. This conference, uh, whose work will last for several months, will be uh, free to the great surprise of the whole world. Indeed, this conference, which brought together more than 400 people from all the social strata of Somalia, will result in the adoption of a new constitution, which in turn will lead to a new Somali parliament that will elect the first president uh, of the reborn Somalia, Mr. Abdelkassim Salad Hassan. 
recognized by the international community. It was a great victory for our countries and our President Ismail Mergele, and especially for the Somali people. The conference will remain a permanent reference for the return of Somalia to the concert of the nations. Under the auspices of the, of the State Secretary for Sport, the collective of local elected officials and leaders unity for sustainable development proceeded this afternoon in front of the Guled Stadium, Guled Stadium to the official launch of the Summer Games. The event was attended by several personalities, including the Director General of the Agency for the Promotion of the National Sport, Mr. Mohamed Umar, the Member of Parliament, Honorable Suleiman Bile, the President of the Commune of Pulaus, Balbala Abdul Qadir Iman, Mohamed Hassan, Technical Advisors, as well as, uh, as, well as uh, several other officials and members of the State Secretary for Sport. The kickoff was given by the officials under the thunderous applause of the public who did not sulk. It's a pleasure. The opening match was uh, between the team of town of Blaus and its rival Balbala. The summer tournament, newly called Summer Games, uh, is an opportunity to promote a sports fight against uh, illness, uh, drug and juvenile delinquency, very common among young people in addition to team uh, sport. The, the State Secretary for Sport uh, added uh, this year in its file of activity, several varieties of board game and traditional. It should be noted that the games uh, will continue for a month in the capital in, and in the interior regions, especially in remote areas of the country. The distribution of hygiene kit on July 14th and 15th, the Djibouti Red Crescent, supported by UNICEF Djibouti Office, uh, distributed hygiene uh, kits to 408 families displaced by the recurrent drought. The beneficiaries' families of this uh, distribution were nomads whose life uh, revolved mainly around sheep and cattle. The two years of recurrent drought have taken away most of their livestock and have forced them to move in search of means of uh, subsistence. Uh, this distribution aims uh, to raise awareness of this displaced population of the on the hygiene of uh, life, uh, the treatment of waters, and the granting of hygiene kit intended to prevent any proliferation of uh, waterborne disease. Uh, all the beneficiaries' families live, li live in the locality of Sankal and Bakere and Ala Ali. In the Dukhil region, on the instructions of the President of the Republic and under the request of the Dukhil people to set up a fire department unit today, the construction site of these fire stations has already been started and the work is progressing well. The workers say that uh, say they are satisfied with the considerable progress they have been able to make since the launch of the site, and by the end of the year, the new fire stations in the region of Dekhil will be operational. To the great joy of the inhabitants of Dekhil, a fire station will be built in Dekhil and will be equipped with the sophisticated materials. For the international scene in South Sudan, in Tambura, uh, the UN hopes uh, for a return of, to lasting peace uh, in the villages of Tambura in southwestern Sudan. Many displaced peoples are waiting to return home here. Over the past six months, uh, several people have died and approximately 80,000 8, have been displaced as a result of an upsurge in conflict in the region. Since then, UN peacekeeper from uh, ANMIS, uh, the United Nations mission in southern Sudan, have been uh, conducting uh, regular patrols to ensure the protection of thousands of displaced civilians. This presence has brought a relative peace, uh, which has led to the return of internally displaced persons to their uh, homes. Kenya's uh, July fuel prices to remain unchanged after fears of further increase. Uh, a uh, reprieve uh, from an ex expected fuel price hike uh, for, for Kenyans. Uh, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta on Thursday launched a new round of uh, uh, the fuel subsidies in a bid to prevent a price hike at the pump. The Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority was expected to raise fuel prices to a new record high after the Treasury 
announced that it was phasing out to the fuel subsidies uh, to ease uh, the pressures on government coffers, but now a liter of gasoline will remain at the current price despite the recent rise in oil prices. Uh, to close up this edition, the U.S. Congress divided uh, Democrats uh, by try to protect uh, abortion uh, rights uh, led uh, by Nancy Pelosi. U.S. Democrats have uh, pushed uh, through the House of Representatives uh, two measures to try to protect access to abortion. Just three weeks ago, the Supreme Court dealt a big blow to our fundamental right, denounced the Democratic Speaker of the House, uh, uh, of the House Nancy Pelosi. That's why we are going to take new steps to defend women's reproductive freedoms, she said uh, just before the vote, surrounded by elected officials dressed, uh, dressed uh, in green, uh, the rallying uh, colors of pro-IVGs, uh, the first of the two bills uh, passed uh, by democratic vote alone, would uh, re legalize uh, abortions across the U.S. Uh, the other would provide protectionists for women traveling for, from uh, on one U.S. state to another for abortionists. Both bills uh, are likely to be defeated in the Senate, where pro-abortionist advocates uh, do not have uh, a qualified majority. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us. Uh, have uh, a good evening.